Are you familiar with Iron Man, the comics and the movies? Now wearable machines that can boost muscle power are leaving the realm of science fiction. Companies such as Lockheed Martin are joining startups in building these bionic suits. Some are being designed for patients with spinal injuries and others who can't use their legs. The military, shouldn't surprise you, is interested as well. In fact, the Pentagon has paid for much of the research. Back in the 1960s, GE built one of these exoskeletons. It weighed 1,500 pounds. The new ones are strapped to users' bodies. They weigh less than 50 pounds, and they're nimble enough to dance the Macarena, if that's <laughs> your thing. The cost, about $70,000. I'm not a huge Iron Man fan or aficionado, but I think it's But you're a cool. Macarena fan. Yeah, but I am a Macarena <laughs> fan, so I would try it. I think it's remarkable, really. <laughs> no, no it look, is. I mean, we, it, obviously we're making light of it, this idea that it's Iron Man come to life. These are devices, machines, that can substantively improve the lives of people who've been in a car accident or perhaps have uh, run into a... A bomb and yeah, Iraq, battlefield mobility yeah, battlefield could be a whole new wave.